Ones aren't known for their cleanliness, but by Mistress Mantle, this place is rotten. The fewer breaths we take here, the better. Ah, drink it in. That sweet, sweet chaos. Not that I approve of goblins, of course, filthy little beasts, but I do like a good den of debauchery. Chuck. Goblins. Not a shred of dignity to be found among them. Very well. Great chases are dead. Bloody cold. Split them. Well, now. You look like a toughen, but have you got smarts, skills, guts? And you're gonna need it, mate. This ain't your standard dungeon dive, right? This... This is chicken chasing. Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You just gotta chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Better contenders than you have been bested by the bird. Fun? Show a bit of respect, mate. This is serious business. Besides, we got to agree stakes before we begin, don't we? <laughs> Cocky, eh? Maybe you've got the skill to back it up. Or maybe I'm about to make a heap of coin. Let's get a crowd going and find out, eh? We're starting a new game! Move your eyes! One day I'll catch a break. Chatting to me for? Chicken ain't gonna chase itself. What are you waiting for? Shimmy on the starting mark and let's get going. Chase that chicken! Get it back on the field! Let's make it interesting, eh? The chicken's head bobs. Eyes darting around at the leering. Way. Oh, 
Has the game done? Come here. Well, looky here. <laughs> Seems like you know your way around the course. Pardon? You're what? Think you misunderstood, mate. Ain't no winnings, cos only a goblin can win Chicken Chase. Says so in the rules. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. to get weepy over it like. Here. Disarmony bearings. Weaker than pigs is humans. Oh, you got him good. And who are you? Another pest? Think you rule the world just because you got a scary face? Ha! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Everyone says that, and then they spit in our faces, but no more. Things are changing. We got the absolute on our side now. You better learn your place. Go on, kiss more foot, or I'll kick your head in, on face. End him or leave him, but don't you dare grovel to this slug. to rip your ear shells off. You heard me. What was that? Your teeth knocked in. I can do that. Take his head. 
He won't be putting it to good use. You're looking down on me as well. I can get up by myself. You could have at least let him grovel a bit. <sighs> Arrogant pig. Wish my dad had diddled the devil so as I could have horns like you. Stupid dead bastard. Give him a good kicking. He deserves it. He killed my mum and dad. Made a bloody orphan of me. Loss holds hands with grief, even among goblins. I ain't bothered about it. Better off without them. Stupid old geezers should have part more of a fight. Don't mean we can't enjoy putting the boot into this prick a stick, though. Well, so much for my previous sentiment.
minute job. Fine. That's nothing. This is gonna be my night. Enjoying the view. Looking tasty in these new breaches, ain't I? Proper stylish, ain't they? Nicked them off this dwarf we're cooking. It's good meat if you can get it. Better than bloody chicken, anyhow. Shame he was as poor as a chicken. Nothing in his pants except a couple of coins and some lousy poem. Sure you can. But a look's all you're getting. For all I know, this little roaster was some famous bard. And you'll be sending his last words for a pretty penny. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. It's a load of old bollocks. All this moons and stars rubbish. Embarrassing is what it is. It's soft stuff. Don't want nothing to do with it. Looks like the booze got the better of them. They're practically unconscious. Krasmok. Araga. Christpok. Araga. Get out of there, oh dear. 
Help us out. Says here the goblinoids are obstreperous and malodorous. What's that mean? Bit confusing, cause it says we're feeble-minded weaklings right before that. Still, only other stuff to read round here is the filth clagger scrolls in the latrines. That's what the bloke who wrote this said. Proper impressed by my brain smarts, he was. Said he's writing a book about the absolute. Lads didn't like that. Said he was a spy or some such. Think they've locked him in the cells already. Well, I had a good chinwag with him, though. Interesting bloke. Yeah, he mentioned that about a thousand times. Don't matter how famed he is, he's going to end up a zapper. He wanted to know if we felt any extra booyag in the air since converting. Magic. Then what the absolute chooses, I'm brimming with it. Priestess Gut and our boss, Ragslin, are fierce and powerful now. Same as that drow. Yeah. Priestess Gut is fierce and powerful now. So's Rexlin, our boss. Them's true souls now. Just like that drow. They have the kind of booyard that comes from being chosen by a god. I ain't finished with it. There's enough reading here to last me a lifetime. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. This stuff ain't bad. But somebody who really knows the absolute should be writing her story. You're right. What does some bleeding outsider know that I don't? I'll be famous. And nobody will remember this pack of lies. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Happily. But the next noisy bastard that comes through here gets gutted! Just having a bit. 
bit of fun. Boy, so much fun that those thieves almost got past. We got them now, eh? And once the whelps start singing, we'll know who sent them. I might be will pay him a visit in return. That'll be some real fun. <laughs>
Well, you ain't the first foreign type, I suppose. Gonna have to be a bit more specific, though, mate. Absolute's got a few favourites around here. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Raxlin, or the Drow? <laughs> Audience is right. She's an uppity one and no mistake, but she knows her business. She's in telling the War Chiefs what's what. Next raid's gonna be a big un, I hear. Bloody racket. Thieves almost got past. We got them now, eh? No one's in the way. Do you hear the Absolute's voice? I suppose you want to hear about Casador. My old. Not. He turned me nearly 200. Sometimes he'd order us to. Thanks. The mind. All I'm asking is that you keep. What more could I ask? Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Ah, oh, here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. with the rest for all the good he's beaten. I want to watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating some... Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. Thank you. Thank you so much. The lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Yes. Should be here somewhere. They said there was a hidden passage underneath this temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned, but when we arrived,
I... I don't know. He changed into a bear. But... I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. Brian had instructions, but... The, the goblins got him. They... They said they'd eat him. I... I have to go. I have to get out of here. the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. Half right, sharp eyes. A Zen is a normal trader, just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That problem for you? Bit quieter, if you please. This crowd just burned that into the ground, you might recall. But good. That means Zaris and her little operation weren't found. Seems you're a friend of the family. That warrants a discount. A small one. Pleasure. Give it a shot. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. Thank you. 
Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Then catch one on your own! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Take him for a joke, why don't ya? And don't let the lads snatch him up. No tell him what they'll do to him. Bring him back when he's all tuckered out. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Ah, oh, my friend, we can speak freely. I'm in no hurry to take my turn on that spit out front. Perhaps you'd be so kind as to unlock this cage? Curiosity, my friend. It didn't benefit the cat, but it's the foundation of my career. Though I admit I've hit something of an impasse. Please. Unlock my cell. Bless you, my friend. I'll wait nicely, but please don't tarry. I could count on you, my friend. We mustn't tarry, but I'd hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! What are they delaying for? Can't we just swarm the forest? Rao wants to know exactly where those adventurers came from. What are you doing? Hiding in trees? We'll smoke them out, not... arrested for thieving unless you can find a way to sell Wish I got turned the bear. Lucky. Maybe I need more pockets. You're being arrested for thieving. Unless you can find a way to settle this here and now.
free to go this time. But next time, you won't be so lucky. Swift as my feet can carry me. Do you think it roars as well? See? It squealed! <laughs> it's it again! Keep your hands steady, three. <laughs> Moving in. Wish I got a turn at the bay out. Lucky. Again! Again! Make it squeal again. It's staying right here. The beasts came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wolves. But first, three more stones. Make it nice and bloody. Yeah! I want to hear more noises. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority.
Very well. as my feet can carry me. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but... Goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. I must admit, I didn't expect anyone would come to my aid. Who in their right mind would infiltrate a goblin-infested temple? Unless... Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Hmm... That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. No, this is... different. Altered. The magic used is beyond me. It's either not of this world or so ancient as to be lost to even nature's memory.
I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I have no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. Korga, I should have suspected she'd take things too far. I'll deal with her when I can, but there are other matters to attend to before that. Help me kill the leaders of this horde. Save my grove. Then I will help you. Three deaths could win us peace. The Drowm in Thara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. There is no safety. Not while this rot festers. Once it is cut out, once the grove is secure, then I shall leave. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. of holding. Time to press ahead. See what this does. Hatched up, pushing on. Crying eye was looking at me all strange. Right. What would some drow wizard in Moonrise want to look at you for? Certainly you won't be because he a beautiful eyes. What do they need to be looking at any of us for is what I'm saying. Somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Shows our devotion to the Absolute. These maggots see how strong we are with her guidance. Whole camp will be branded soon, and you should be too. You ready? Brace yourself, this'll sting. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. 
a familiar sensation. She too carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Your minds brush against one another, but are swiftly parted. Don't want to get intimate in front of the novices. Fair enough. Got some weird shadows in your head. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. A creature? There's definitely something rotten in there. Let me take a closer look. I ain't seen anything like this before. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Oi! Priestess! Is like us. We want the mark. Why do they think they're yeah. talking to a god? Ain't we good enough for the Emperor? turn out like that. Blissful idiots who thought they were talking to their god. Ready to clear your head. Whatever the Absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. I don't want a crowd of gawpers. Everybody else needs to leave. Ready to clear your head. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Someone there? Dread likely. Have a lot on my mind. And, well. Ready to clear your head? Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the absolute. And I'll do the rest. Don't want anyone peeping on private matters. So. There we go. Secret and safe. Well, secret. Psionic feelers creep across your mind like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. Sifting deeper, she sees the mind flare holding a wriggling tadpole to your eye. And then the vision lurches, and you are looking through her eyes as a tadpole squirms into her skull. Helps! 
We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. No. It's messing with your brain. You're seeing things, probably hearing voices too, yeah? Don't you worry. I've got everything I need to fix you. Might get a bit messy, though. You won't regret this. Being a true soul, you know the Absolute don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It'll purify ya. I guess we're doing this the hard way, then. Sweet dreams. Wakey, wakey. Don't bother struggling. You ain't going nowhere. The Absolute wants to know all about that critter in your head. So start talking. Whatever the Absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. Don't wanna... Trust no one. There. No time to rest. Ready to clear your head? The Absolute will protect me. You don't stand a chance. Better be a soft bedroll in my near future.
parasite is stubborn. It refuses both to leave or to allow itself to be used as you desire. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. The ache builds as you squeeze your hands together. Were your fingers always so thick? Your skin always so sticky? Chukilgate vlaketh mazathok! Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Let it be so. Vlaketh Gorg Shkatsai.
your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. Lazelle's fear grips you. Not fear of death, but fear of insignificance. The great warrior Lazelle, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon. Forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Vlacketh. Take me. I will earn Vlacketh's honor. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. I came just in time. You are transforming. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. become a mind flayer not while I'm around I'll protect you we haven't much time so listen closely There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. for the fate of Faerun, a fight we are losing, for now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. to offer. Everything it was and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. Good. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. Well, 
hello. Flackets will be done. should speak up. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Here. On the Sword Coast. Impossible. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet gods! If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Quite the cosy setup you have here. Kinja, no good will come of devouring a gay worm, no matter what you might think. Mark my words, this power would be no blessing but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out. Tadpole has stretched. It won't hear my scream. My faith in Vlacketh will guide me, and my own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power. You. 
You might be right. The Githyanki have long studied Geich and used what we've learned. The Zaithisk itself was devised from such knowledge. The tadpole is perhaps not just a curse, but a weapon I can twist and mold to my advantage. Very well. I will swallow my disgust and avail myself of the parasite's powers. Feeling illicit? Come on then, don't leave me in suspense. How are you feeling? No errant tentacles? No sudden cravings for a more cerebral diet? I was rather more curious to know what benefits the tadpole might have bestowed. No doubt the benefits of your change in diet will become apparent soon enough. Was there another matter you wish to discuss? If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. It was bad enough having just one of those tadpoles forced upon us. I can scarcely believe you actually inflicted another on yourself. I know. I felt it. You wouldn't have been able to take it. The artifact has a will of its own. It would fight back if it didn't want to be with you. I felt it go from me to you. You need its help, just as it needs us. It's still just a box, after all. Might not be possible. It's stubborn that way, prone to lashing out. Keep it for now. We can all help to protect it. Gone gods. Watching you consume that tadpole was more disgusting than the tadpole itself. Though, I suppose that's not what you wanted to talk about. Well, no tentacles yet. I suppose we can consider that a success. Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers. If we can convince the right people to talk. So, you've indulged. Just helped yourself to a little more power, I see. And there isn't a tentacle to be seen. <laughs> Not a bad deal, I'd say. My only complaint is that you didn't want to share. I wouldn't mind indulging myself. I wasn't keen to be the first to try it, uh, just in case there were any, uh, surprise side effects. <laughs> but now that we know it's safe, I'm all for experimenting. I might just hold you to that.
Never wanted the easy path. At least give me a sword! We want you dead, you dumb knuckle. Not dead, any. Another outsider? Get down there and stop complaining! Ah! A scrying eye. Let's not do anything suspicious while it's watching. The village to the east. It's abandoned. Looks that way. But scouts said they heard something moving around out there. Something big. It's not our concern. Our prey is elsewhere. Your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found. I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. I ain't no use without my limbs. The lad will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear! Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul? Praise be. Are you here to join my hunt? Yes. I suppose I might offer passage. But first, we hunt. Prove yourself worthy, and you will have what you see. Worshippers of a false god, their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers' blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the Gith artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Absolute's clutches. The thief, whimpering in our dungeon, tried to flee to their sanctuary. We will continue to remove parts of him until he tells us exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Speak, true soul. The hunt must begin soon. Excellent. Be sure not to kill him before he talks. This weapon the cult is after, do you think it's our artifact? If that's the case, we've got more problems than just the worms in our house. How many raiders do we have? Plenty of lashes! Loads of hunters! 
and a few pariahs to carry the powder kegs. These pariahs, they're prepared to fight for the absolute. What they do ain't exactly fighting. All they gotta do is light up the powder and burn. Then they're prepared to die for the absolute. Good. Dying is the only thing they're good at. Then they're prepared to die for the absolute. Good. Dying's the only thing they're good at. How about our stop following What are we waiting for? Spears are sharp. My lads are all riled up and ready. You have already failed me once. And now you dare to question me. I, uh, I didn't mean nothing by it, your ladyship. Honest, I didn't. Life. Much like your words is meaningless. Well, end the matter to save the former. Ready or not.
then they're prepared to die for the Absolute. Good. Dying's the only thing they're good at. How about I stop on What are we waiting for? Spears are sharp. Oh, eyes are all riled up and ready. You have already failed me once. And now you dare to question me. I, uh, I didn't mean nothing by it, your ladyship. Honest, I didn't. Your life, much like your words, is meaningless whelp. End the latter to save the former. to the east. It's abandoned. Looks that way. But scouts said they heard something moving around out there. Something big. It's not our concern. Our prey is elsewhere. Raiders are just waiting for the word, mistress. We're ready for anything. And the prisoner. Get We're still working on off. him. Talk, your leadership. Spike always makes him talk. If he doesn't, I'll cut out his tongue. If he don't have a tongue, he can't tell us nothing. The prisoner can keep his tongue. Spikes, I'll be <laughs> Then they're prepared to die for the Absolute. Good. Dying's the only thing they're good at. How about I stop you what are we waiting for? Spears are sharp. My eyes are all riled up and ready. You have already failed me once. And now you dare to question me. I, uh, I didn't mean nothing by it, your ladyship. Honest, I didn't. Your life... Much like your words is meaningless, whelp. End the latter to save the former. Bloody hell! What? Leave me alone! The village to the east. It's abandoned. Looks that way. But scouts said they heard something moving around out there. Something big. It's not our concern. Our prey is elsewhere. Mm. Raiders are just waiting for the word, mistress. We're ready for anything. And the prisoner? We're still working on him. Prisoner, I'll talk, your ladyship. I always make some talk. Here, fool, if he doesn't, he'll cut out his tongue. If he don't have a tongue, he can't tell us nothing. The prisoner can keep his tongue. The spikes I'll be removing. Time for discretion. Your violence hasn't gone unnoticed. It's about to be returned in kind.
won't work. Try something else.
stop me yet. With haste. <laughs> 